Paul O'Grady handed in his notice at Radio 2 after being asked to share his regular slot with Rob Beckett, who, at 37, is three decades his junior. The TV and radio host lamented that he was disappointed suggesting Radio 2 was always intended for an older audience, but that producers are on a quest to make it more appealing to the younger generation. I was, disappointed, because I'm a great believer in continuity, he revealed, after relinquishing a slot he had held for 14 years. His final show was in August 2022, which devastated regular listeners who had come to enjoy his broadcasts. Radio 2 has changed, it's not what it was. They're trying to aim for a much younger audience, which doesn't make sense because you've got Radio 1, for that, he stated. Radio 2 was always for an older audience, the For the Love of Dogs star continued sorrowfully to the Metro. However, he announced his decision to part ways with the station last year, insisting that it was the right time to go under the circumstances. At around the same time, veteran broadcaster Ken Bruce, 72, also left the station to transfer to Greatest Hits Radio, sparking an ageism row. Fellow celebrity Vanessa Feltz, who is 61 and also left Radio 2 last year, claimed on this morning, I would imagine that it's a feeling of some sense of ageism at the BBC and that once you get over a certain age, your days are numbered. You're not valued in the same way, the music isn't as appealing because they've kind of changed the music of Radio 2 to appeal to the younger audience they're so desperate to get. Radio 2 adamantly denied her claims in a statement in which it added that the channel is hugely proud of having a range of presenters from their 30s to 80s years old. They added that the age range hasn't changed in decades and that Ken Bruce had been with them since the age of 32. The statement concluded, We, will continue to be a multi-generational radio station that serves a 35-plus audience with listeners tuning in each week to our brilliant range of programs, hosted by some of the UK's best-loved presenters. Meanwhile, Paul's own departure came soon after a long lockdown period during which the bubbly broadcaster admitted to being fed up and bored. In need of constant stimulation, he struggled to thrive without human contact while he was confined to his farm in Kent. I ended up talking to my pigs, he chuckled, before adding that he also used the time to pen a children's book and learn to play the ukulele. Meanwhile, the keen farmer produced his own chutney and jam, but he couldn't shake off the boredom and was elated when the time came to return to work. Fortunately, Paul is still very much in demand with TV producers, admitting that he has already been asked to take part in another series of For the Love of Dogs. A keen animal lover, Paul has five dogs, with the most recent canine addition to his family being a wire-haired dachshund by the name of Sausage. He reportedly broke a clause that he himself had created in his TV contract to be able to adopt the pup, who originally arrived at Battersea Cats and Dogs home in search of a new owner. Besides Sausage and his other dogs, Paul also keeps pigs, chickens, sheep, goats and fluffy alpacas, meaning Terry's never a quiet moment on the farm. The TV star described his show as a Cinderella story during which animals who were previously scared of their own shadow can be seen regaining confidence and happiness after being matched to the right loving families. Although Paul has joked that he has repeatedly asked ITV whether they really want him back for another series, it looks like Keen fans certainly haven't seen the last of him yet.
I'll take.